Oh, there it goes. I'm going all natural. You're on. Right? Yes. Looks like it, yep. All right, so we're going to do this just look at Don't worry, I'll let us get the motion together, right? Yeah. We're looking at 10 minutes. Tops. Good evening, and welcome to ATC Tim's ATC Tripe Talk. This week, we are filming at the Hatfields McCoy's Trails in beautiful Gilbert, West Virginia. I'm here with my good friend and compadre, Mr. ATC Nate Carey. Please ride me, Tim. Sure. Nate's grown up riding many of three wheelers, and he knows what's up. He used to go by other names. We won't go into that kind of talk yet. So, Nate. <laughs> so, Tim. Do you like three wheelers? Yeah, yeah. It has just the right amount of wheels. Uh, perfect triangle with a Honda design. Mm -hmm. You can't go wrong with it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And uh, do you own three wheelers? Uh, I have owned several three wheelers, present and recently. What's uh, the best three wheeler you've ever owned? Ooh. You know what? A Honda 250R is right up there. You ever owned one? Yep, I had old air coolers. Junk, but I like the geometry of it. Oh, who doesn't? Very fond of the Tri-Z and surprisingly a P3. Hmm. Now, what is the best asset in the P3, say, here at the West Virginia Trails? Hmm, automatic two-stroke. Hmm, really gets her done. Yep, so, when in doubt, you can ride a lot. Hey, that's what Polaris used to say. Always have the right gear. So, let's go through your current inventory, Tri-Z and Hmm. What do you currently have for three wheelers? Uh, I think right now, finally down to Triz, uh, P3, Honda ATC 200. Also, mm, that's that, a, that might be my favorite bike. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, have a Poli uh, Phoenix Engineering one. <clears throat> that sounds interesting. Yep, and a Suzuki ALT 125. Oh, man. Yeah, well, we know about those. So I don't talk about those. Yeah, okay. So, uh, Nick Carey, what can you tell me about the RPFLU? Hmm. I believe that they are a French group. Um, I believe it's Rowney County's for Life Union. Hmm. Um, we're looking at getting deunionized, but there's a lot of paperwork to it. Yeah. Um, right now, we're uh, kind of just going to members' different venues mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, pounding the trails to the best of our abilities. That sounds fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's a really swell time. Hot pickled sausage? Sure. Thank you, sir. So, what kind of racing have you done in the three-wheeler scene? Ooh, um, time hardtail laps. Um, trike fast motocross. Um, some little stuff with Nitro, doing ice racing and mm -hmm. Aramex. A little bit of flat track and that's what I love, I think. Heard Nitro is now pronounced Nitro. Do you know anything on that? Yes, but it has to be with a special pronunciation. I believe it's uh, Nitro. Is it an Indian word? Um, I don't believe so. However, most of uh, New York's uh, rivers and stuff are named after Indians. So, you know, it could just be part of the uh, natural dialect up there. Mm. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. Hmm. So, you'll be attending Trike Fest this year, I assume. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many years is this for you? Uh, four total... Oh, you know what? Five total and four in a row. Is that right? Yep. Now, what is your long? You consider it a long week. When do you when do you get there? Sometimes long week is Saturday and Sunday. Oh, that's hardcore. Yeah. A lot of um, river fest. Yeah, a lot of river fest. Mm -hmm. um, you get there early in the week. You have the whole place to yourself. Oh, God bless them. Yep. <laughs> I wish I was there right now. Don't you? Hmm. No, I really like being in West Virginia right now. Mm -hmm. Tonight's episode has been brought to you by Penny. Mm. Penny in the liquor shakes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cut? Can we cut? 